hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are continuing our laravel e-commerce series where we are on the wishlist page so guys in previous video we have learned how to fetch this wishlist data and now in this video we'll be learning about when we click on this remove button that time this column should be removed okay and deleted from your database also so guys now let's get started with it so let's move to this wishlist page on this design let's go to our editor and over here you can see that wishlist page which we have fetched on it so this was our image and let me just minimize this sidebar and this is the remove button over here okay so this is a simple remove button which is over here and now let's start the coding about it so first step we need the wishlist id so wishlist id mean to say that this database wishlist table default id so wishlist data id we required so this was the code which we fetched in previous video about that so in this item only i am going to fetch that item so id let's give input tag so in this input tag i want to fetch that so let's give value item hyphen id so we'll get all the wishlist id over here and let's give a class for this and you can tell this as wishlist wishlist underscore id save this and now let's view over here let's refresh you can see that its id will be there you can see one three four so these are the ids which you you see over here so guys now on this basis only we are going to remove this data from your db so let's get back to our editor and over here let's give a button so let's copy this button name for the remove we have added a class with wishlist remove button let's copy and go to your js file where you have linked it now let us code the code over here as simple we are going to use jq click function and inside this we are going to check with that wishlist remove button okay and inside this we have to check the code about it. so whenever you write any query for ajax and all that time you need to pass the header of ajax so let us pass that and now start the code about it so when we click on this we need the wishlist id so let's create one variable called wishlist wish list underscore id is equal to where you're going to get the data from it okay so how will you get that so when we let's create a variable where i can tell that clicked uh this is equal to where dollar where we are going to call this this done so this will be stored in this variable and let's call that why we are storing this for some reason we are storing okay so which will be used in ajax only okay let's continue and call your closest value closest value i'm going to call so which is the closest value in this so let's go to index dot blade dot php of your wish list but let's copy this content and call that content so when we are going to find that the find function so what you're going to find the id wish list id so let's get back the id just now you have pasted so let's copy this and get back to here and then again it is a class so make sure you are adding a dot so make sure you are adding dot for this also okay because this is also a class so do not miss with that and then finally the value for if you are using input the value you should call as simple once done you need to check with that alert function so let's use alert let's check with it save and let's get back refresh okay so let's make this input as hidden we don't require to show it on the user interface let's make it hidden h i d d e n hidden save it 
let's refresh over here okay done so now let's click on this remove button where you can see that id number one is coming and let's click on last you can see that id number four cool let's get back and start the ajax query for it over here let's comment this until jq ajax let's cut this and make the method and over here let's call it post we need to set the url and we don't need this data type so let's just make it empty and the url will be as remove from wish list let's set this forward slash and in this data you are going to pass that so let's give open and close curly braces inside this you are going to create one wish list underscore id and over here you are going to call this wish list id which you have just fetched let's save over here and now let's continue to create a route so be, uh, in this success function you want to save the message and delete that container of this wish list so before doing that we need to first clear our route so let's copy this and go to your web.php and let's create a route so make sure you are in a authenticated middleware where for the user you are going and this is was for our adding the wish list so below this only we are going to create route oops r o u t e route where i am going to use po post method because we are sending from their post and remove from this list let's give the front end the same controller we are going to use so let's copy this and paste over here and from here remove this list item okay let's copy and create a function inside your wish list controller let's go so this is our wish list controller public function and inside this you have to code so first step you need to get all the request you have sent from your ajax so let us tell a request where dollar request you are going to get so now let's create one variable called dollar wish list underscore id is equal to dollar request of your which is that let's go to our ajax let's copy this and get back to your controller and paste over here done and now let us use an if condition if there is something id present in your wish list it should show or else it should not show okay so you can tell that items not found in this list over here let's call your wish list model let me just call that wish list where we need to check first user authentication okay so user underscore id so why we are using this underscore id you can see into our table called user id and product id not product id we are going to check user id and default primary key id so those both columns we have to check let's called authenticated id and then again use the where condition where inside this i am going to call the id and your wish list id which you have getting from your ajax request let's copy and paste over here and let's use exist function to check that e x i s t s exist function if it's exist then show me else you don't need to show that so you can return let's copy this to return the status give the status and tell over here no item found in this list done so if it is found then remove the record so let's create one variable called this list is equal to where we are going to copy the same code and just change the last thing which is exist from first first and give semicolon as simple let's again copy this object 
where I'm going to use the delete function to delete the data. So after deleting that, we need to send the response, right? The status to show the message. You can send this and tell over here item, oops, item removed from this list. Save. And now after showing this message status, you need to show in your Ajax. So let's get back over in this success. You have to show that. So how will you show? We have already used some alertify thing. So let's copy this and paste over here. Alertify, which will show the status. And before showing that when we click, we are using Ajax, right? So for that, we do not need to reload this page. You should remove directly when we click on it directly. Automatically, it should be removed without any page reload. So for that, there is one simple query for it. Let's use this dollar this which we have stored in this. Let's call that paste it and get the closest value. So which is the closest closest function where you're going to call that. This is the closest one. Dot class and then tell that whenever this clicked. So when we click on this remove button, we are taking that this, right? So on this item, we are checking to the closest value and use the remove function. Remove function, save. That's it. Let's get back to a Chrome and refresh and let's test. So there are rightly currently three items and let me click on this center one. So center one item should be removed. So before clicking on it, let's open the console log to change, check that if there any error occurs. Let's come over here and now let's click on this remove. Okay, item removed from this list you have got and there is no error perfectly data also removed without the page refresh. So guys, let's try with the second option. This remove, I'm going to click on it. You can see that item removed from watch list. That is perfect. So guys, now let us check in our DB also where you can see that three items are there. Now it will be one item. Cool. So let's refresh and confirm that. So guys, we have done completely how to add the wish list and list the wish list and remove the wish list. If you need this like add to cart option, you can make it to add to cart and then continue. So this was the Flipkart concept which was done in this. So guys, thank you for watching this video and please continue next video and please subscribe, like and share.